welcome back to another vlog so can we go ahead and get ready for the day okay. yesterday i felt really fucking stressed like this morning i woke up extremely bloated and shit because last night i ate so much sweets and desserts i went to sleep feeling extremely bloated after what i've done and it's hard like i'm trying to not punish myself for it this morning but i can't help thinking like i feel like i want to restrict again you know like i'm hungry but i don't want to eat anything i'm not trying to go back to the restrictive cycle anymore so i kind of have to force myself to eat which is really fucking hard because i don't want to like <sighs> but the really difficult part is just learning to forgive yourself after what you've done last night but like my mind just wants to go back to like restricting and compensating which is what i'm trying to overcome and it also doesn't help when i woke up and you know my first thing is to check my phone and i'm seeing some really triggering things you know and i'm trying to stay off of social media for that exact reason but you can't help but be surrounded by that kind of talk i'm just not in a good mood and i feel like restricting but i'm not going to and you guys are keeping me accountable the only reason i think i'm gonna go make breakfast is because of the vlog literally otherwise like, i would not eat anything like i would be hungry but like i would think like i deserve that shit you know i guess like the main reason i was overeating was because i was hella stressed and then when you're stressed and depressed the natural response is to cope with it by eating when i was in a very very depressive and anxious state last year when my binge eating was at the worst i would just resort to food as a coping mechanism and then it just became a habit that i can't break out of it's like a double addiction okay the first kind of addiction is like food becomes an addiction to cope with your stress and the second part is like after you've binge and stuff like i started feeling really guilty and wanting to punish myself the day after so that's where the restrictive cycle comes in so it's like a double layer of addiction it's those stress that makes me want to engage in those behaviors and now i have to like rewire my brain not just for the restrictive part like that's a separate part of its own but then another part is just coping with stress and depression and anxiety mental health shit i mean in all honesty mental health is something really difficult to want to talk about with people because people just will see you as this person who's like begging for help or attention like mental health is not a real thing you know just like deal with it you know my parents growing up they never paid attention to the mental health aspect they just be like you know whatever difficulty you have you just have to push through it because like that's the only way to go but i just think mental health is so important but in a lot of culture it's just not very talked about so that's why i think it's so important that we are also aware of that and talk about that more and not see it as like something taboo or just like first world problems oversensitive privileged people problem because it is a very real thing that's affecting a lot of people nowadays anyways i'm just done with getting ready for the morning i'm gonna go make some breakfast yeah let's go So this is what I'm eating this morning. We got an avocado toast with everything but the bagel and then a boiled egg and orange. And then I'm having hot water with lemon. Guys, this egg boiler machine has really been a game changer these days because I don't have to wash a pan after making an egg. And honestly, it's not like I don't have the time to wash one single pan. But little things like that can really add a lot of stress to your life. So having an egg machine that just makes an egg 
is a huge convenience for me. So yeah, super impressed. So here's my lunch. So I had some of these leftover red curry from a Thai restaurant and then I just made spaghetti to go with it. So yeah, let's give it a try. Here we go. This is like really good with spaghetti. sweet and creamy and a little bit spicy so yeah i'm gonna finish this and i'll catch you guys later bye I basically slept the whole afternoon until I gotta force myself to get out of bed and get ready because I'm going to my friend's apartment to spend Chinese New Year together. Even though I felt really tired, like I really didn't want to go, but it's been a very long time since I've socialized and I know it's gonna help. I really enjoyed myself there and I felt like just getting out of the house and taking the time and energy to socialize really did make me feel better like I'm not just stuck in my own head all the time Sunday and today is the day after yesterday's Lunar New Year celebration which you've seen in the vlog. We had a small gathering of friends and we had a hot pot at home. It was really really nice. I only knew one person that was my friend and then the rest of the people are like her roommates and their friends so in that kind of social setting it can be a little awkward because you don't really know anyone but it was a good time and i ate a lot of good food i haven't celebrated chinese new year since i was a kid like literally before i even came to the u.s and my mom did wish me a happy new year so that was kind of nice and just during this time it can feel kind of lonely when you don't have your family around so you just gotta make sure to keep in touch with them but anyways back to the celebration so we had hot pot and it was like hot pot at home there's like three different kinds of soup bases we got a mushroom base a spicy base a tomato base and it was just really dang good some of the girls wanted to go to the club and just drink and talk i guess they really wanted to find a quiet bar to just kind of chill and talk but me and my friend really wanted to go clubbing instead but we still ended up going to the bar with them 
and then we chilled there for a bit it was a very cozy rustic vibe you know it was a nice environment to just talk and drink and then have a good time but i wanted to go clothing i'm not gonna lie like i was bored and so was my friend so then we decided to go on a very spontaneous trip to the club in pacific beach we literally decided like yo let's head out and then we just called the uber two of the other girls decided they want to join us so yeah all of us went clubbing that was so stress relieving guys i've been wanting to go clubbing for a very long time but i haven't got a chance to because i was at home for winter break and i don't got no friends to go clubbing with you know i went home at like 3 a.m or if i sleep really really late then i'm gonna have trouble falling asleep and i'm gonna wake up extremely early which is what i did today i probably slept like four hours last night so right now i'm just feeling a little heavy feeling very tired i just think today i need a little bit of rest but i still have a lot of homework to do so i'm gonna get that done and yeah I just want to try it comes out to be like ten dollars per meal so here i got lamb and pork meatballs with parmesan polenta sounds so good and comforting and this one is a walnut miso crusted salmon some pork al pastor tacos oh my gosh so excited for those and then a salmon and spinach lasagna i'm excited to eat these Maybe I'll try one right now. excited to try because I'm so hungry and it's so cold today so we're gonna try the polenta with a little bit of marinara sauce Ooh, interesting well it's very thick has a very cheesy flavor I think I like it I think I like it a lot so let's try the meatballs wow look at that Okay, that's actually really good. Very flavorful, savory. I like it. I like it a lot. But it's also just a tad bit dry. Like, I wish there was more of that marinara sauce on top. Balance out the dryness of the meatball. It's not bad. Thank you. 
Hey guys, so I just took a shower and I'm going to be relaxing for the rest of the night. Probably watch some YouTube, some Netflix, because I haven't got a chance to do any of that lately. And tomorrow's Monday, there's a shit ton of work to get done, so... But whatever I gotta do, I'll just leave it up for tomorrow. Right now, I'm not gonna worry about it. Just gonna enjoy the last little bit of my weekend as much as I could. Thank you so much for watching this vlog, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you like it, be sure to give me a like and subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!